All right, let's go ahead and just knock out these last few problems right here, but we got QRT. This angle is 22 degrees. So let's find the measure of angle QST. So remember we have this fact, if two inscribed angles share the same arc, then the inscribed angles have equal measures. All right, so notice how both these angles have the same intercepted arc. They both intercept QT. So I can actually easily say bada bing, bada boom, 22 degrees right there, All right? And then the measure of QT is just times by two, which would be 44 degrees. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. All right, now same problem but different. QRT is 2X plus 21, so that's 2X plus 21. QST is 4x minus 1. All right, we got to find the measure of QT. So let's just do this. We know that they both intersect QT, so I can mathematically, legally set them equal to each other. All right, good. they're going to have the same measure. So let's just set them equal to each other, see what happens. Remember, we must get the x's on both on one side. All right, so a bunch of math happens, x equals 11. So let's just plug this back in. If I get two times 11 plus 21, I'd have 43 degrees. Similarly right here, that'd be 43 degrees as well. Regardless, to find the measure of QT, just times it by two, bada bing, bada boom, 86, All right? Intercepted or inscribed angles are half the measure of the intercepted arc, so just times it by two. And then last problem right here, we, we got to find QRT this time, all right? This is the mystery, all right? It's telling me that QST, this junk right here is 3x minus 5, and it's telling me that this arc over here is 9x minus 40, all right? So, something to remember, means we can divide the arc by 2, or I can multiply the inscribed angle by 2. And I'm a multiplying by two kind of guy because it's going to limit the interaction we have with fractions. And sometimes fractions can scare us. All right, so all I'm going to do is multiply it by two, and then I can set it equal to the arc. Distribute 6x minus 10 equals 9x minus 40. Subtract 6x from both sides. Negative 10 equals 3x minus 40 plus 40 to both sides, we're going to get 30 equals 3x, divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 10. Sweet. All right, and then it told me to find the measure of that. All right, I need the measure of QRT. Well, it's just going to be the same as 3x minus 5. Remember, those angles are the same because they share an arc. So plug in 10 there, a bunch of math happens, we get 